Hey there, this is Chad Garber. Man, I'm telling you, it takes a lot to get a live stream going these days. Right now, it's not even working properly. Here we go. So, this video, I am exploring whether the timing... The t um, let me read this. I'm, I'm responding to a comment of one of my videos. It's in the description. Um, but I want to read it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so. Man, that can't get smooth. I cannot get smooth. Okay, so. All right, so. Hey there, this is Chad Garber. I'm starting over. And in this video, <clears throat> I am replying to a, I'm actually responding to a comment made by Daniel Lopez. He said, hi, Chad, have you noticed on the HX Stomp Looper when overdubbing, there's a slight delay from when you press the foot switch to when it actually starts recording. <clears throat> this does not happen, certainly when doing the first recording, as it is completely simultaneous. The pressing of the foot switch and record and the recording. So I wonder if it's just wait. So <clears throat> oh, when overdubbing, that's the key. So he's wondering if this is normal or if it's both, or if it's both the first recording and the overdubbing should have the same behave the same should behave the same. Yeah, or both the recording. So <clears throat> he's basically, he probably worded it as, as good as I could word it. Sorry, I got something in my throat. Hold on. <clears throat> so basically what, um, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Everything is, I need more than me, more, more than one me. What Daniel's basically saying <clears throat> is that he's noticed that when he, now why is part of my, that's weird. Okay, hold on, I gotta fix something real quick. Oh, wait. <laughs> so many problemos. <clears throat> okay, so what, what Daniel's saying, he noticed that when he, when he clicks, when he first does a recording on the looper using the HX stomp, it it's simultaneously simultaneous and like right when he clicks it it records bada boom bada bing but then he's saying once you're doing the overdub he's saying there's a slight delay and uh, i told i said that i might have recognized this or i might have um, noticed this but i'm not sure if i really did <clears throat> i did notice that i was having trouble getting the looper good loops and to have them you know timing right but i after trying it today i don't think it's i'm having this problem so what i'm just going to do this right now and kind of demonstrate this and see if there is a delay or anything okay so i'm going to go ahead and make a loop <clears throat> and by the way if like you if like you can see from the behind me if you do like this video and other videos like this please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel i think i need more hands now let me make sure first of all we can hear which is good. There's so many. I need like eight hands. <clears throat> Three brains. <clears throat> All right, we're good to go. All right, here we go. I know why am I coughing so much? All right, so I'm gonna make a loop. Now the pressure's on. See, that's me. I always have trouble getting the first. 
always have trouble getting the first one right. All right, let's try that again. What do you mean, lots of delay? Welcome, did that, did that. Are you saying there's a delay, like in a bad way, or... Having major video or Oh, you mean on the preset? You mean just on the preset? I'm gonna lower that a little bit too, it's a little bit loud. I know, I like the delay. I thought you, I, I thought you were saying there's delay overall, like maybe my audio is doing something weird. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I like it. I like the delay. I don't want to mess with it. Sorry. Just a little. <laughs> There, I did it just for you. Hey, what's going on my live stream, man? Is that better? I, I turned it down just a little bit. Okay, here we go. I really do love Line 6, BHX Stomp for sure. Okay, so that was, the it was simultaneous. Yeah, I do like, <clears throat> I love Line 6, but I love Line, I love the HX Stomp. I don't like all Line 6 products, but I do like the H, I love the HX Stomp and the, <clears throat> the Helix stuff for sure. <laughs> See, I always have trouble making a, a, this is what I was thinking when, <clears throat> when Daniel asked the question, this is what I was thinking he, he meant, because I know I always have trouble getting a, 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 a symmetrical loop for some reason. <clears throat> maybe, I don't have, maybe I'm noticing that it's hard to uh, turn it off properly. Like the, the tapping to stop recording, maybe that's where I would notice there's some kind of issue. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this looper getting a, just a, 
a steady loop. That's that's what I was talking about. So that's what I um that's what I don't like about the looper. I'm not sure if it's just me <clears throat> or if it's this particular looper because I had a looper before and I don't remember having problems with it, but maybe I did. This is an uh, as an ep Epiphone Les Paul. <clears throat> Love it. It's a KOA Koa. <laughs> Uh, much better now I can put the single coil. I wonder this is def this is definitely a good uh, question. <clears throat> We're gonna get to the overdubbing problem in a, in a second. But I just have trouble creating symmetrical loops. Hey Chad, how are you, man? Thank you so much for the for the super chat. Appreciate it, man. Hey, while you're on here, I have a question for you. <clears throat> Chad, do you ever have problems with the looper? Like to get a steady, like you have a loop, but it's hard to get an even looper. I know for me, that's what I'm having trouble with. Now Daniel has stated that he has trouble getting the overdubbing recording working right. It's a little bit delay, but I, I have trouble just closing out the first loop before I even get to the overdubbing. But thank you so much, Chad. Oh, come on, I'm telling it good enough. You're irritating. You hate the looper. <laughs> <clears throat> me too kind of i mean i don't know why i don't know what's wrong with it i can't figure out what's wrong with it but i have trouble you know i have trouble getting a symmetrical loop it's really weird an even you know an even time loop is just weird That, even though I'm out there a little bit. Virtual loopers is no virtual loopers are great. I just don't know this particular. I, mean, I love loops. I need loops. I use loops all the time, but I just have trouble creating symmetrical loops. I say symmetrical. I mean like symmetrical beat beats, like four beat or you know eight sixteen beat uh, loops. They're always like short and they, you know, they're just hard to get even. Now this one I I got right, but I think I I'm so out of tune. It sounds embarrassing. The loop is, the tuner is another thing I'm not sure I'm thrilled about. I love the HX Don with everything, except the looper, and I'm not thrilled with the tuner for some reason. I don't know why. It seems like it's harder to get tuned than other tuners. Thanks again for the, the money, Chad. I appreciate that. Let's try it again. See if there's an, a delay with the overdub. Yeah. 
my guitar. Do you see the tuner? Yeah, you can kind of see it, can't you? It's just like it's it's hard to get. It just seems like it's harder to use this tuner than other tuners. Like it's so precise that it's kind of a pain in the butt. But then again, I'm not sure how. You know, it's like it's just all over the place. Anyway. Good advice. Lowering the tone some. That's a good idea. Excellent idea. <coughs> I was going to do something simpler. All right, so here's the... the <laughs> Set as strobe. What's that mean, Chad? Set as strobe. I don't know what that means. Is there in the um, in the tuner settings? There's kind of a delay, so you're probably not watching this until a little bit later because I got lots of things going on on my computer. Change the mode. The mode. Oh, you mean the, the is that I even you know I've never even messed with the tuning the tuning modes. Is, is there you're talking about the tuning modes? <laughs> Go into the tuner. All right, I went to the tuner. <clears throat> this is very helpful. I'm really ha happy about this. If there's something easier, and then you or use a ver go into tuner. And then I gotta figure out where the mode is. Yeah, four in four different. Is it a type or is it a uh, a mode? I got four things. I got a output, a what, a reference, a type, and then offset. I see strobe now. Now, how do I save it? Do you have to save it? Oh, wow. Look at that. How the heck do I tune that? <laughs> I have no idea how to determine what the heck is going on. It's, um, I don't know how to tune that. That's really weird. So the is strobe is strobe. I don't understand it. It's strobing the way that I need to tune, or the opposite of the way I need to tune. It's auto. I don't understand what those strobe lights are doing. I mean, it's cool though. It's something new. <laughs> You just use the arrows. You don't even deal with the stroke. Oh, I see. You just use the arrows. You just use the arrows, basically? Oh, okay. 
That's even harder. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool though. I didn't know there was what other what else is there? I wonder, is there different kinds? Yeah, that's really interesting. I guess that is kind of easier in a, in a sense. It's still got that precision, though. It worked. It worked a lot better, actually. Thanks, Chad. That's good advice. That's weird, though. It's never, it was it, what under what the other types are too. Maybe that would make sense. Hold on a second. How do I do this? That's kind of cool. Hit the 
Dub. Oh, Dub, when he put it. Yeah, you had to right before him. I think, it's, I think this might be by design. So in order to, this is good, in order to overdub, you have to click it right before you go into it so it can record the first one. Okay, yeah, so to answer your question, Daniel, I think this is, uh, oh, oh, you can hear me over but I think, I think this is by design, because if you click right on it, you can't get that first note in. You have to click right before it to get the note in, which kind of makes sense. Kind of. I'm not sure if all tuners are like that. I got a bunch of videos on um, guitar lessons, not, not as much blues, I do have some. That's it, because that's the conclusion of the matter. As far as the overdubbing, you have to click or tap before you record, or it's not gonna it's not gonna record the first note.
Pretty good too. Okay, sorry about that. So, Vib Vib Hey. Um, again, I don't have a, a favorite uh, guitar brand, but I like the, this is a good guitar. I like Schecter's. So this pretty much um, summarizes this video. I figured it out for you, Daniel. So the bottom line is, is when you when you first start the loop, you have to hit it simultaneously, like you said. <laughs> Point is, you have it simultaneously. Then for the overdub, you have to do it before. Oh man, that's the whole thing up. Of it, you have to click it before. I'm not going to get that first note. So if I try it without, if I do it simultaneous, here's what happens. See, you can't hear it. See, that's interesting. So it doesn't take simultaneous. You have to do it right before. And 
you don't even have to do it like right before you can do it far before you know what I mean you, know, you can let it kind of record as long as you want to like watch oh don't do that so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit hit record anytime like randomly let's open it up in right now So it's kind of cool. So you, when you overdub, you basically just have to record. Just hit, get the thing recording. And you'll be good to go. It doesn't, you don't have to be as precise with the overdubs. So that is the conclusion of the matter. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thanks, Vidbab. Vib. Vibbab. And I appreciate it. And thank you so much again, Chad, for the super chat. And uh, you guys have a great day. So the, to summarize this whole thing is, the, yes, to record with the looper on the HX stomp, you have to hit, you you simultaneously, to start recording, that is, you hit, you simultaneously hit the button and start playing. When you're doing an overdub, you have to hit the overdub, tap the overdub sometime before you hit the first note or it's not going to record the first note. If you try to tap it simultaneously, you're not going to get the first note. So that is the summary. That is my conclusion of the matter. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.